to a lot. This is 2OF Entertainment. Welcome to the Lost Dollar Business Club, where we talk about business, 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 and not just business. We talk about what makes businesses go up and what makes businesses go down. If you're interested in businesses, this is where it is. We talk about the global economy. We talk about global politics. We talk about everything and anything business related that affects your life on a global scale as well as a local scale. And don't miss after the show, Lost and Found. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Lost Tower Business Club. Good yes. morning, everyone. Here we are. Good morning. Look at us. Right Look morning. at this Motley crew. Oh, yeah. We're hey, back. Man. We're back at it. We're back. So, what did we miss in this week? Wow. Good wow. This has been a heck of a week. By the heck way, Miss Harris's campaign, I read this the other day, is raised since Mr. Biden has left um, to do whatever he's going to do, I guess. Um, she's raised five hundred million dollars. And now, is that money yeah. that they took from the Biden campaign? Or no, no, no. She, she's she actually... raised. She, okay. She's got a hundred million or ninety million from Biden because that that was her sugar. That and, came, and of course, and then the, she's burn, the burning question is: Is does anybody yeah. outside of the U, outside of the U.S. care? That's the yes. burning question. Uh, the whole world cares because if Trump no, gets back no. in, they're doing another plan, and if she gets in, it's another plan. Um, uh, right now, in an article in the cares, Financial Times about and The Economist, uh, about China, campaign. I'll just speak over you. Don't worry about it. China said that they are very, they can't seem to have a good relationship with the Trump campaign right now and the Trump people. And that's where oh, it's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's not yeah, that China, China is very worried that yeah. they can't seem to have a dialogue. You also with them. have to think to yourself, you know, uh, you can say what you like about Trump, and I'm not a supporter. But when he comes into a room, you know, you know, if somebody's walked in. And whether or not it'll be whether or not world leaders will uh, will treat uh, Miss Harris in the same way, I don't know. Will they? I know when he. Yes. Yeah, right. you know, the, we only care around. about is yeah. um, is finding out who won, and all the bits and pieces yeah. in between. For the rest of the world, guys, is just irrelevant. Not really. Oh, all, no, the, all, the, all the hosts from all the other shows that are around the world, their whole countries are worried about what's going on. When Trump walks into a room, a lot of girls just do like this, the cover up. Anyway, let's um, go. Let's talk yeah. about the real news that's out there. There's um, some big news out there. There's yeah, big Telegram, news. Telegram, the guy got arrested. Avil Durov, yes. Yeah. Arrested in France outside of Paris at yeah. the airport. So uh, should we just uh, should we run to run a advert before we get started, guys? So uh, yeah, yeah, we'll well, yeah we'll 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 pay a bill. <laughs> Get the freedom and the flexibility of remote work in the lucrative tech industry. Bend your life around, around the world. Bendicoot is the premier course and community for thriving in a remote tech career. Join the revolution today. Bendicoot.com, official partner of the Lost Dollar Business Club. All right. Ooh, we paid a bill. We did it. All right. Well, good. <laughs> Glad we're, we're still doing that. So, look, we've got we've got uh, and this could be a big big fight against free speech. That's how it's been couched yes. because this is this is uh, this is an attack on a guy who's running probably one of the most uh, open minded social networks out there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's not not uh, not not censoring it in the ways that other social media uh, networks. Oh, Elon Musk, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, Elon's not not monitoring it at all, censoring it at all. Yeah, um, he does. Yeah, he you're right. It. And so does Facebook well, and Meta. No. Well, let's see. I mean, Telegram certainly doesn't seem to be doing that. But I mean, they don't the, do anything. The argument, yeah. The argument being. You know, this guy's now responsible for everything that happens on his platform, plus things that maybe didn't happen on his platform. Right. I mean, this they, is this they, is, they uh, put him in jail. They step. They the French police are holding him. They said for child pornography, um, money laundering, and there was a whole bunch of other things. And I think they're also holding him. Children. Yeah, right, right. And I think they were also holding him for the 1956 um, when Godzilla crushed Tokyo. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't know if he well, was responsible well, for not, that, but not he was. They're not holding him anymore because he's on a $5 million bail. 
but um, right, and he, but yeah, he's the thing, thing about it is, in the US, you had a ground, you had a groundbreaking, um, or let's say, um, a very, very important piece of legislation, which put social media platforms outside of what would normally you'd normally be accused of of mon monopoly or responsibility that the, that the printed press had for, for really for centuries right. the social media didn't get included in that so they have a way of saying you know if young people commit suicide or young people do this or it's child pornography it's not us we just really facilitate the platform now the french don't have that law they consider it to be Look, you know, you it's your your it's your platform. You're responsible for it, and of course he has a uh, well. He's, he's probably still a, a triple passport holder because he holds a French passport, a Dubai passport, and I'm not sure if he's given up his Russian passport. No, no, so, so, the Russian passport. Yeah. yeah. So when he flew into France as a French citizen, of course he's then subject to uh the, because they've been chasing him since 2024 uh early 2024 saying hey look you know you, you've got to do something about this because you are you are doing something which is against the the the, the french law and that's why they that's why they arrested him but i have a question if i may and i i understand what you're saying but that's the biggest bunch of crap i've ever heard in my life and here's why if i go to a, if a kid goes to a movie that's a platform. And then the kid decides he sees whatever the movie is, whether they do whatever horrible thing, and then they go out and do this horrible thing. So now I'm going to sue 20th Century Fox, if you will, or Warner Brothers, because they brought out a movie. Or if he reads something in a newspaper or a magazine, it's a platform. I can sue the magazine or newspaper because it's the same thing as Telegram or X or any of the yeah, other you, crap that's the out The thing there. is, you could do that with printed press and you can do that with cinema. All the laws are in place, certainly in the US, for that. But when it comes to social media, it was, it's never, it was never included. You, you, can't sue, you can't sue a movie studio because you're an idiot and you see a movie and you go do something stupid well, from the movie. You know, if a guy dresses like what, Deadpool you, tomorrow well, and runs around with a samurai toy and kills everybody, but, but that would be, no thing, one would take that. But the important thing is that right, there is a, an exception in American law which allows, which doesn't see social media platforms other than just a tech platform. It doesn't see it as a publisher. It doesn't right. see it as being responsible, but in France they do, and that's that's the reason why uh, they arrested him because he said, "Look, you know, you're letting all this stuff happen." Yeah, and well, the conspiracy that's, that's... theories in Europe also is, you know, um, what's he doing in France? You know, I mean, he's a French citizen, but um, you know, you know the French. Oh, that's. I mean, this, this is the uh, thing. Uh, you got to now be careful each other. if if you're running a social network. You've got to be careful where you're traveling if, uh, if, yeah. if authorities disagree with what you're doing exactly. on the platform. So it's got nothing That's, to do with, even with, with what, what he's doing. It's more to do with the fact of the way the French have been tightening up their social media laws. Not sure that, I mean, not sure that's it because a lot of what's happening on Telegram is a lot of non, uh, you know, anti anti government outside of the government sphere of censorship that uh, that guys like uh, yeah, President but it, but, it, but it also carries uh, the Ukrainians use it, the Russians use it. Yeah, everybody's um, using it. If you have to go online now, if you have to go on on X as as President Macron did to say explicitly it's not political, then that just it's to political. me sounds like it is. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to go not, online. Not, I don't think it is political. I think it's I think, I think it's purely legal. It's it's they, they, they he's done something which they consider to be illegal, and as a French citizen, when he came, they arrested him. Simple as that. Yeah. Look. Whether or not you whether or not you agree with the law, the laws in France in particular, where they they consider social media to to have a responsibility that they that that, that you don't in the U.S. and that they're trying to do the same thing in the U.K. but they haven't got pushed out through through Parliament. But Europe is certainly moving towards, hey, you know, you have a responsibility here. Look, let's not uh, bring well, the UK up because the UK is no longer a democracy. Yeah, yeah well, when, the, when, the EU is going in that it, direction of, of being able whenever, to... Whenever, whenever was the UK a democracy? Yeah, it when is you a democracy. A, You're supposed to be the beacon of freedom. The, 
Mike Nakata. How can it be a democracy? Bill how can it be a democracy? Ex you know, explain to me, John, how it, how it could ever be a how it could ever be a democracy when you have a parliamentary system which works by first past the post. That by definition, the company with the the, 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 the political party with probably with the least amount of votes always gets into power. Yeah. So what's democratic about that? Nothing. Well, and it's been like that for centuries. It's a parliamentary democracy. It, we never said it was a, a, a real democracy. The real democracy is where, you know, one vote, uh, the popular vote wins. Nobody wants that anyway. Right, yeah. Uh, the UK, nobody, wants, nobody wants a popular vote. Is that what you said? The UK, you know, uh, you know, is considered, you know, uh, at least in modern times, the, the father of, 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 of democracy, right? Like Nakarda, the Bill of Rights. Oh, I forget the other one. But, it's the, the, you know what? It's do you key. know why they? Do you know why the Magna Carta was written? Okay, so they knew on. where everybody was, so they yeah. could get come around and ask you to pay your taxes. Hey. That's the reason why they wrote it all. Very different. important. Very important. Uh, yeah. And limiting the power of the sovereign. So you know, yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. worked. Yeah. Well, so anyway, I mean, going. You got to look. You got to look at this Telegram situation but, where. But you you know, know, is it? Is it a slippery slope to say that people are, that someone like a country like France is going to just could they arrest Elon Musk for what he's doing on X? Hey, well, they don't well, like because they don't like what he's saying. Wait, I'm French, okay with that. That's okay. French, he can do that. Yeah. The French put uh, what is it Thierry Breton from the the European. I don't know yeah, what, what trying to get he, he threatened him with a with a letter. You know. Oh yeah, that. we all saw the well, letter. Yeah, we, we didn't like that, you know. And so, yeah, okay. So the French come up with an excuse because they don't like a platform that allows, you know, uh, everybody free to say, speech. Well, yeah, free speech, you know, come on. You well, know, when we don't like it, not, we close it down. When we like it, yeah, yeah it's okay. There, yeah. there is no free yeah. speech in France. Let's just be very honest. I mean, I, a few years ago, the guy who was the head of Gucci, the house of Gucci, mm -hmm. made a anti-Semitic joke in France at a party. Um, the next day he was arrested because it's illegal in France to make an anti-Semitic joke. And he also lost his job as the head of the house of Gucci. Um, it was, it was in the financial times and I mean, they made a big thing about it. So yeah. France, because they're pussies are trying to make up from you know 1940s. <laughs> let's just be blunt. And by doing that, they are becoming more willing in, in what they're doing. I'm glad that you're not allowed to make an anti-Semitic joke or what. Well, that's fine. It's just a joke. However, you, there's a point where you just can't say your response. Listen, once again, it's the adult that's responsible. Now, if drug runners and, and child pornographers are going on whatever platform, then yes, you have some sort of a responsibility to say, listen, you cannot put child pornography on our platform. So in that respect, I agree with the French. If Telegram is letting child pornography on their site, now I don't know if they are or they aren't, then yes, you need no, to say, no, 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 can't do that. Now, Whatever else happens on their site, other than that, I, th I don't see where there's a problem. You know what I mean? If, if people are trying to do illicit things on it, you can't police everything. People are doing illicit things on Facebook and on eBay and yeah. on X and on Meta and blah, blah, blah. So, but you know what I mean? So there comes a point where it's like, listen, enough's enough. Child porn is bad. Yes. Go. No, we don't do that. Got it. Everything else, you're kind of screwed because they'll just find some other place to go do it. And I'm not saying you know, it's like, oh, that's an excuse, yeah. but well, there's got to be a point where the say. government goes, listen, we understand that. But I go back to, I don't care what the law says at this point, but if if somebody does stupid things in a movie, a newspaper, or an article, I can sue a newspaper for, for defamation or libel, right? Or I can sell a magazine or whatever, but there, or a news program. But that means they have to do something to whatever. But if I'm watching whatever, CNN, and I go, oh, blah, 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 blah. They gave me an idea to, you know, go, go smuggle fifty billion dollars in drugs. Who am I going? And I get arrested. I'm going to turn around and sue CNN. You had a special on how to do your drug smuggler. Well, I'm right, suing right. you because I got caught and your special didn't work. That's the most ludicrous thing then in the world. So the problem is, is that they make these ludicrous laws, and then they uh, they when they go to do it and they wonder why people go, "You're so stupid." They're like, "No, yes, you are," and they don't understand why because they don't think through it. And I think this Telegram well, think thing is just, perfect. I don't think arresting to... him is, is it. 
Well, you know, I mean, we don't, I don't know. I know he has two passports. So I would imagine that he probably still has his French passport. It may be, you know, um, uh, we don't, don't know how know. connected he is to Putin. I don't know. Maybe just. Uh, I don't know how the hell you can defend the French action. It's indefensible. It, uh, there's no argument it. for it. Maybe. Why is it indefensible? I mean, so I mean, if somebody the hell has, what is it? Somebody so it's, bro it's, it's, it's he's broken their law. It's broken the law. Yeah, you know but you see, that's the, that's the thing. When you there come to no the US, when you come to the US, before you even breathe, you've broken a law. You know, we've got so many laws that, you know, right. you wake up and, and you've broken the law. That's just bullshit. Yeah. You know, it's just I agree. ridiculous. It, no the, argument. The, the, the problem know. is that there is for a lot of people who feel in many ways victims of social media, of social media platforms, and there's a big wave against against that in Europe, and they just try to say, hey, we need to tighten this up because, you know, people complain about uh, about pornography, people complain about uh, child pornography, people complain about, you know, uh, uh, what was it, Instagram, they had this whole thing where, where they, just, they, they just didn't control anything to do with, with um, you know, kids taking their own lives, suicide, or actually instruction films were regularly being shown. The platform didn't do anything about that. And then they all, they all step back and say, oh, we're just a platform. So there's a lot of people on the other side of that who's saying, hey, look, you know, okay, you're a platform. That's great. We get it. We know why you react the way you do, because in the US you're not you're not covered by any of this. But if you want to if you want to do this in Europe, same reason why Brazil has said to, to Mr. Musk, go away with X. You know, you're not oh uh, my you're God. Not, Don't bring up Brazil. You, Brazil, you know, that guy, <laughs> the, the, the Supreme Court guy is is a dictator. You know, yes, he's he become is. a dictator. That's you true. know, and then in in addition, you you know, to, he's to South, trying South to American, stop, of course, he's a dictator. At trying on. to you know, trying to uh, to to stop X, he then goes after Starlink, which is the 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 internet platform. Uh, it has nothing to do with X, and freezes the accounts and brings everybody that's that's working there, all Brazilians. Uh, you know, they have to come out with a with some kind of uh they have to bring up the cash because uh you know he's imposing some fine on on x now let's not yeah. but, you, but you can see why big government yeah yeah big very, government. very very un un tyranny. all over yeah. the world Got it. Yeah. all over the world are really uncomfortable that the, the world seems to be dominated yeah. by an increasingly small amount of people oh, no, not organizations not companies Small yeah, amounts the, 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 of people run the government, you know. I mean, yeah, that's small. The, they run the world. They run the world. Yeah, we know yeah. that. But I, you know, what know I, that. I'm actually amazed is how, I don't know, brainwashed is the is the correct word, that you, you're buying this line that we just closed. You know, we'll start with this little item, then we'll start the next item. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you know, who you said, said something offensive said about my wife. You know, let's close you down. No, that's not acceptable. Hey, Who's buying just, the line, John? Who's buying yeah, the line? We're here. The line here. that you need to 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 to. No, to I just I started. So, uh, you're no, talking I'm not buying. Any, I'm not buying any line. I'm yeah. just putting a point of view, other than an American point of view. No, no, it's not the, an American the way point of view. Europe, the, the, yeah, it is like I, said, I keep repeating. You that the social media platforms in the U.S. are not covered by any of the same laws that affect printed media or tv media they're not covered oh. by it they're ex they're exempt from it and, right, well, and that change the and media that, law in, in the in in europe if you want well that's what they're trying to do they're trying to, to adjust you want you to change it. it in the u.s no no yeah. i don't want you to change it in the u.s it's just entirely because you you just lobby the crap out of it and it won't happen or you know or the, the you know the jerry I, Andrew, I, but 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 all i'm saying is that in europe they're trying to make steps to to put in a few more safety nets and yes. this is this this is another way of france saying hey look we care and we care because we, we they don't care because because we we we, yeah, we do oh, the french do care they care enough to arrest a millionaire a billionaire even That's and you caring. know what's really cool he gave you five million dollars which means nothing to him i'll go back to dubai and you'll never see him again and they have no extradition so it's all bs well, so they, they do actually. Well, they do yeah, actually. They yeah. do have expedition. They do. They do. Do they? Yeah, if they Why? really cared, maybe they shouldn't they let you know. Uh, they do. The French, the, the uh, French have people out of Dubai. In their the, own country. The Dutch have people out of Dubai. No, they do. They do. 
on a one-to-one -one yeah. basis. They are open to discussion. Uh, open, yeah, they're open to this. How much money do you have? Yes, that's, <laughs> everyone's open to discussion for that. Here's the problem I have with all of it. The child pornography dead wrong. Yes, get rid of that. That should be taken off. If, you're, if your account does that, they should ban your account. And right, I think right. they should have AI. That, I agree with that a thousand percent. I do have a problem with the suicide the, 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 and all this other stuff. Once again, that's a parental thing. That's a parental thing. You're, you, you need to control what your child watches. You know, because at some point you can't be with them twenty four seven. So yeah, if, and, if, for and, that, and here's for that the other very thing, reason then. you can't control wait, wait. what they're watching, Stephen. That's Correct. a contradictory but argument. But here's the other thing: if the New York Times tomorrow does a um, a piece, or on Sunday they do a whole section on teenage suicides, and teenagers read that and go, "I must kill myself," nobody's going to win a lawsuit against the New York Times because. It is a, here's a piece on teenage suicide and how you prevent it and what you should yeah. do, how you should, right? But, but Instagram we're, seeing, we're running, Instagram are running films yeah. of people actually committing suicide. Well, see, that's filming. like, to me, that's like child you pornography. Know, that shouldn't you know, be allowed. You shouldn't, but you the thing is, but, but you, you made a contradictory argument, you said, you know, because you can't be with your child all the time. Correct. At a certain point of time, if they're teenagers, you have to give them an element of responsibility. No, you don't. And, they're teenagers. They're little shits that deserve nothing except to be slapped in with duct tape. When they're 18 and they go to university, mm -hmm. they can become an adult. You know what? Teen, you know anybody under 18, really under 25, because they're stupid and they're even dumber. They shouldn't have iPhones. They should have flip phones. The old fashioned phone has nothing on it except I can make a phone call. That's all they should well, have. That, they should have that's nothing a else. One, that's a wonderful bridge to our next item. I like item, it. Uh. The Barbie phone. Oh God! <laughs> no, you, 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 walk, you walk straight into that. I know. I had to. Tell me. Tell us about the Barbie phone, David. Uh, it's a well, dream think, phone. Uh, yeah, I think I think they're very clever. Again, because there's a lot of pressure for certainly for for younger people, primary school yeah. people, uh, primary school kids. You know, kids. You know, until maybe they're fifteen or sixty, or when. Because I'm the sorry. other issue, the, the issues, of course, is that schools themselves. Once you go to high school, certainly in Europe, you're expected to have a smartphone because all your school rosters and everything are all on the smartphone. So you you need that in order to as, as part of your education. But there's a lot of younger kids who, who also want to have that smartphone. And a lot of people have been saying, hey, we don't mind the kids having a phone, but we want to keep them off smart, no. all the smart stuff until they go to high school where, yeah. where at least – you know everything could be could be spoken about a little bit clearer. So there's a huge, a huge thing in, in uh, a hole in the market. And again, right. yeah, you know, there's a lot of Gen Zs. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of um, you know millennials who who are looking for that digital detox, and they just think, oh, all I need to do is just phone or, or SMS and nothing else. And then yeah, so this this phone company, which I think also bought the rights many years ago to. Um, the, the the name Nokia, and and the Nokia products, and they decided, oh well, we'll uh, we'll cut this deal with Mattel, and we'll we'll, we'll bring this Barbie phone out, and um, yeah, good for them, because there's a huge market for it. And well, not wishing really... to be controversial, probably every every LGBTFG and F, et cetera, et cetera, letters plus in the community will want one as well. So it's a huge market. No, well, I think, I there's, a think big market. Really there's, a, there's a big market for, for, for dumb phones, as they call them, yeah. non-smartphones. Yeah. Non and that's that's a good trend that we're that we're seeing. Yeah. The fact that it's a Barbie branded dream phone, I mean, they really went all in on it. They're trying to yeah. They're, yeah. <laughs> if you if you take a look at the screenshots of it, it it's uh it's got it comes with stickers, it comes with uh sorts Who of doesn't want stickers trinkets, yeah, you know. yeah, different yeah. different covers for it. Covers, um, yeah. I mean I give them credit for going for going all out on trying to get kids off of the smartphone. Uh that's not the a problem bad. is this kid is a year late. If you were gonna do yeah. if I was gonna do this phone, I would have done it with Margot and the studio. Like right, the minute right. the movie came out, my Barbie yeah. phone would have come out because then yeah. you have this billion dollar franchise well, it's and it's going to be like, boom. So unless they're going to do a Barbie 2, I think it's a, it's a they cool might. idea. They might. Right, maybe. I, I hope not. Um, <laughs> but um, but if, they do, if they do Barbie 2, I'm sure it's great. My problem is it's a year late. 
I don't know if anybody's really going to get excited about a Barbie phone now. I think if you did it during the hype, that three month period where it was like Barbie, yeah. Barbie, 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 Barbie,
it's worth looking at these uh, at 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 not just the Chinese uh, LLMs, but you know the whole the whole open source area of looking at these models. I mean, it's, there's a lot of development that's happening there. The, the difference is you've got ones in the U.S. that are you know uh, trying to 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 moderate what people are doing, uh, unlike what's happening on on Grok on uh, X's. Uh, visual image generator but you know the chinese ones have their own situations with you know certain things they won't talk about based on government mandated uh government mandates i mean does that matter that much i mean everybody's going to do it anyway you know does it matter that much that, that they're that they're creating ai that reflects their values you know if you can call it that so yeah but it looks like chat, uh, open open uh, or chat GPT open AI was a little bit behind the curve because now they're talking about it. It was to be the strawberry was, it was going to be a standalone standalone release. Now mm -hmm. they think they're going to integrate it into uh, into GPT uh, chat GPT. This is, it's slightly different, right? It's a uh, yeah, but it's um, AGI, right? Which is artificially generated intelligence. So this is supposed to be a little bit more than just spitting out, you know, what, what yeah. is accumulated yeah. from what's out there. But and, and, they, they were so concerned about it evidently that they shoot, they, the, 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 the good old Uncle Sam had a look at it in the summer and um, they had the first peak of it before it was released to the public. So uh, they, yeah, uh, sure. it was, a, it was a, a American national security officials. There you go. Yeah. They all had a look at it. So, yeah, because they uh, want to use it. They want to use it, and then they're trying to figure out how they tie their stuff into it so they can read everything they're doing. That's the only reason yeah. they look at it. They're, they're yeah. not they looking at it to see if door. it's safe. They just, they just, I, they just want the back door. I don't get involved in yeah. conspiracies, so I'm just. Yeah. Like, no, that's not conspiracy. But, that's just that's a straight up fact. You can talk to yeah. anybody in from Google who got money from the CIA. They wanted a back door. The they, NSA want all the stuff has back doors to all the intelligence communities. It's full. That's that's like everybody knows that. That's kind of like you know you need petrol to start your car in the morning. You know, yeah. it's the same thing. It's not like there's no conspiracy. That's just a fact. Everybody knows that. It's no different than in China that if you own a company, there's a guy from the Communist Party that sits there, and he, you know if they don't like what you're doing, they tell you. It's that's not a conspiracy. It's a fact. And people at Alibaba will tell you they have a whole office there. You know, yeah. and and Baidu and the rest of them. That's not conspiracy. That's a true fact that you can like go do. Yeah, yeah. But the EU uh, is right there. You know, they got a. Yeah. You know, they, oh, they're in Brussels. Yeah. You know, except yeah, you know they're not in the next year. But they, you know, they just like uh, yeah, we'll send you a letter. You know, uh, we don't like it. You know, close it down. Hey, we'll fine you a million bucks a, a minute, so we'll bankrupt you. Uh, yeah, but. I, yeah, it's not a real democracy. So, I, yeah, what do you expect, right? You kind of half Chinese, well, anyway. So. You remember, the EU was started, what you call it? We're not Chinese. started by a Nazi only, only, uh, in the 1950s, the guy from the, from the Nazi party, from Hitler's. You're, party. Only, you're only, already importing half your stuff from there. So, you, yeah. Yeah, the, the, well, you know, do, you know, do you know what the biggest, the, that was really interesting, for, uh, dig, digress a little bit, but the biggest threat to national security in Europe. Yeah. Are the Chinese built cranes that lift the containers on the boats? At really? Rotterdam, they break them down oh. in, in Hamburg, yeah. in Antwerp. Because they fail or because they're, they're you, sabotaged? Oh, yeah, if you're a conspiracy theorist, you can make anything you want out of that. <laughs> oh, I thought this was something real. I didn't know you were making it up. All right. No, no, I didn't make it up. They do. Uh, they, they use all There's this. There's real concern it's about it. it. Well, it's a real concern. Oh, about it. All right. I mean, everybody's concerned about anybody with half a brain is concerned about what's coming out of China. The problem is nobody's doing anything about it because they're the right. only ones manufacturing these things. Yes, yeah, yeah they, we are. Well, we're well, have, so, come on, guys. You know, without the Chinese, there'd be no Happy Meals. I mean, you know, wake up, smell the coffee. Oh my God. That's, that's what that's what's important. Well, the toys and yeah. the Happy Meals. So they still. I have remember reading a, a story about uh, 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 Chinese uh, footwear shoe manufacturer you know and uh, he relates the story that uh, i forget the company that was out in maine went to china right. because they wanted to make you know cheaper shoes and and and, and they, they basically taught them how to do everything and he yeah. and the guy said uh they, they 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 then came back and 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 wanted to to bring back manufacturing but the chinese guy said 
you know, we were smart enough to, 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 to learn from you. That doesn't mean that we're going to teach you now how to do it, you know. And yeah, you just, well, you know that, and, but we just keep doing the same, the, the same mistake, never, the same lesson. Never treat, never train a monkey to climb a tree. That's what right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we were dumb enough to do it, and we keep on doing oh. it. It seems. Hey. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, for the last story before we get into lost and found, someone brought up story? before the show. I don't know. Someone about some food that's been oh yes, in Japan. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh John, John wants to bring up the food. Yeah. Also about the uh, food, let's, hope, let's hope he doesn't bring up the food on the show. No, 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 no. Just tell us about it. Don't bring it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Japan, Japan imports eighty percent of their food, right? So it's, it's and and eighty, you know, most of their their energy, right? So it's a it's a huge cost to 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 the country. Now, uh, a lot of food, you know, because of the way. Uh, the supermarkets and uh, and the shops operate there. It, it it has to be highest quality and it has to be very fresh. And if it's not fresh, boom, they throw it away, right? So there's right. a lot of local food waste. Um, and you know somebody there, you know, that was in the uh, in sort of uh, I guess the, the food business uh, also realized that uh, a lot of the food that they use to feed uh, pig pig production, right, is also imported, right? So here we are, we're importing a, a lot of tons of food, we throw a lot of it, and then we also have to import food to feed the pigs, right? Uh, right. So uh, now they're basically trying to, they, they, they collect, try to collect the, you know, the waste, waste food and uh, use Japanese, you know, I don't know, hundreds of years of knowledge of fermentation of food that they can so basically transform this this trash into i guess a you know a fermented food that you can feed you know pigs right right um, which which makes i mean just to give you some of the numbers on this i mean japan imports two-thirds of its food yep. wow. and three quarters of its livestock feed but they're also throwing out 28 million tons of waste food yeah uh, as a part of that that's 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 a lot that sounds yeah. like, and then they're burning, then they're burning 40% of their, 40% of the trash they burn is yeah. food waste. So if you can take that out of the waste stream, that's a really good um, yeah. circular economy effort, which is something we should probably talk about on a future show, yeah. the circular it's... economy efforts and, and uh, you know, oh, non, non waste the other shows samples. that they What's experimented that? In, in Scotland that a guy had hermetically sealed his cow shed so that um, the gases that were given off from the farts yeah. from the cows, he could he was starting to reprocess that and use that to for for warming, uh, you know, as, as a source of energy on the farm. So maybe that's where the Japanese are going to next. If they're fermenting all this stuff, the pigs are going to fart. All this stuff, all this, you know, Keep it. coming out the other end. Yeah, just to yeah. recycle it all. It it sounds a bit wacky, but I mean, hey, no, it's all, all of these things are very interesting. You know, it, it just some of them don't make economic sense. In this case, you right. know, uh, it makes huge economic sense because the cost of food, cost of energy, and then you know the re, you know if you burn it and you don't have the technology to to not release you know the bad gases, then you know it's 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 a win win. So right. yeah. Well, they've been so Japan. Japan's been fermenting food for five thousand years. They I mean, say. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. Then this is a long, this is a yeah. long, long history with this this yeah. technology, this effort. So maybe this is something that actually, uh, because of the the economics of it, could actually work. Yeah, it's then you know it's a, according to them, it it decreases their greenhouse gas, gases by seventy percent, less emissions, right? So uh, yeah. also the 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 fermented, uh, you know. Food, for lack of a better word, uh, le the liquefied feed, which is fed to pigs, is forty percent cheaper than the feed that they're, they're bringing that they're importing. So, you right, know, when you when you put it all together, it's a it, it's a total win in, in at all levels: emissions, yeah. cost. Uh, you know, they don't have landfills, but you know, or they do, and so it's just overall, it's a total total 
positive uh, outcome. Yeah. It must be really expensive, though, to, you know, to take all those trucks to the top of Mount Fuji and then uh, dump all the garbage in the hole. You know, I mean, that's, yeah. that's going to be really expensive. <laughs> yeah, very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, you don't uh, want to do that. Uh, I mean, in, in, in English, we have a word, we have a saying that says, "Where there's muck, there's money." Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, so get, another get into, uh, get into uh, the muck business. Yeah. yeah. All right, boys and girls, let's hit lost and found before we uh, we keep going down this path. We still up the yeah. show anymore. David. Ever wonder how millions vanish into thin air, or how a single dollar can make all the difference? Join us on Lost and Found where we dive into the wild world of financial mysteries. From misplaced fortunes to unexpected windfalls, we unravel the stories of people, companies, organizations, and even governments who've lost and found millions. Lost and found because every dollar has a story. Wow, you give David a couple toys and look what he does. That's not, that's uh, like a mini uh, movie. I want to get popcorn uh, now and a nap, you know. That's, that's, the, that's the, the sad yeah. story of Lost and Found. Wow. Yeah. That was like, that's just everybody that was all, now, oh, man. So, oh, I like it, though. It's very cool. It's a tearjerker yeah. movie. We should make a movie it's now. It's a tearjerker. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, uh, I've, tearjerker. Got, I've, got, I've got another one with the program listings, but I won't, won't bore you with that. Okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, the, you have a program listing one? Yeah, yeah. All Is right, it funny? all right. Well, yeah, like, you know, where, where, where do you want me to run that before or after Lost and Found? <laughs> oh, no, you can run the program listing right after we do Lost and Found just for us to see it. It'll be fun. A world okay. premiere. Hey, yeah, that's right. A world premiere. All right. Lost so, John? Well, John, what do you have? Um, okay. Okay, so John, do you have something? Them. I got two of them. Oh, God. Go big lots. Time. Big lots, uh, you know, sort of big uh, furniture store, yeah. home goods is about to declare bankruptcy and close 1400 stores wow. uh, that they are, but they are looking for financing uh, so of <laughs> may, maybe they maybe they're able to to pull it off and and maybe close a few hundred stores and, no. and not they're everybody done. So. they're done uh, but 1400 stores done yeah. They're gone. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a tragedy. and that's a win for America, a loss for them, David. If you're gonna, yeah, push I don't know. yeah. So <laughs> the other one, which you know, peaks really, you know, just uh, just keeps reinforcing my point, which is New York State currently pays thirty six dollars per megawatt for energy, okay. but the smart boys in Albany demand wind, and so what are they gonna do? They're gonna pay. The state is gonna pay 155 to 146 dollars per megawatt hour. Remember, I just told you, they, the cost, general cost for electricity is 36. So you know what, four times. Right? Yeah, it's awesome. Well, that's crazy. That's great. That's a win for I don't know. A win for whoever's win charging. For, a win for wind. wind. That's what, it's yeah. a win for wind. Win it's a win for win. win. Yeah, I like yeah. that. That's cute. Yeah. It's a win yeah. for win, everybody. That's pretty cool. Oh, it just, right. just boggles the mind. Yeah. Uh, nothing boggles the mind on this show. Michael, uh, what do you yeah, have? Right. Well, I've got, you know, I've got another, it's, it's eco-friendly, but the, uh, but the, the big part of the story I'll get into in a moment. Look, Lego, you know, who makes the plastic uh, toys, oh, they're sure. trying to, amazing, amazing toys, amazing bricks. They're trying to get rid of the fossil fuel cycle right. with their, with their plastics. And they're trying to use more, certified renewable resin which is uh to they're trying to increase production of that which is fine they're doing this green push and they're looking at other materials but to me the big story is even though they're spending all this additional money on trying to make their very successful toys uh sustainable they are uh it's actually their their sales continue to rise despite a, a, a weak toy market and that, mm -hmm. and that makes sense when you look at the price of their Eiffel Tower kit, which is like $600 or yep. 554 pounds, or their Lamborghini kit, which is another $400 or $350 mm -hmm. there. Um, so their profits are up 26%. Uh, but in the they're also the world's largest, biggest producer of tires. Of tires? Yeah, yeah. for the little cars they make. Like cars, yeah. I will tell you what the biggest the biggest market for Legos is is the secondary market. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Hang so on, what happens hang is those it, vintage Legos. No, 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 not that. What happens is is that I lose a Lego piece, 
and there's people on eBay and other places that you can go to their website and on kit number 127-3, you can go, I need that piece. So they, yeah. they charge you like $5, $6 for a piece that costs them like a penny because there's no yeah. other place to get the piece. So uh, the secondary piece market, I guess, is a, that's a multi-million dollar industry. And there's a handful of people that are doing it. You know, because yeah, how many, very how many clever idea. pieces have been lost into the ether yeah. you know, or stepped on? True. I stepped on and it's so many wins years. For Lego, yeah. I like, yeah, I, I, I have Legos. I went to the Lego oh, store great. a couple months ago and they've got some Legos. Like when I was a kid, you know, you got the, I built the bridge. I'm very happy. Now you build like, I don't know, a rocket ship. And They're really, yeah, yeah, exactly right. The sets, some pianos, sets typewriters, adult yeah. oriented, friendly. They've got yeah. pianos, typewriters, car engines. They've got everything. When I was a kid, we built models for that. Now you just go get a Lego set. And I like that. And you read the back of the box, they'll tell you like the pro, you know, you should be twelve or older or whatever or whatever. And I'm thinking I'm not old enough for this. <laughs> um, and that tells you the approximate amount of hours. So some of these are like thirty hours, forty hours, right, right. seven thousand hours. You know, uh -huh. I pull out my phone, I'm like, 7,000 hours. Okay, so the children <laughs> I don't have, children will be at university when this is done. Um, right, so, yeah. you know, some of this stuff, I, kudos to them for coming out of a, oblivion again, you know, and reinventing themselves. So they did a great job. So, yeah, they did. Well, I like Lego. Yeah. So good for Lego. I don't know why they don't sponsor the show. I, I know why. That would, be, like, that would be another one. That would be another I good know. one. Yeah. We should bring them on. All right, so my story is not a win or a loss. Lately, apparently, families are feuding when somebody dies about their money. So wealthy families um, are, are seeking to add what they call value draft agreements to stop inheriting, inheritance feuds, which basically means it talks about who's in charge, who invests, what you can invest. It's literally the same thing you have, but now they're making like, because everything's a blended family now, they're making everybody sign it. Like they sit down at a table and they're like, Johnny's going to do this. Mary's going to do this. Ba 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 ba. And so, so this it's like way, a, a, a prenup for dead people. Then, I suppose. basically, it's a prenup now for your family office or for your inheritance. So the kids from two different families don't try to kill each other for the money. So I was like, okay. "Are you kidding me? This is like how I. It's no one's an adult. <laughs> That's all no. I know. No one's an adult. No one talks. Everyone just wants to fight and whatever and yell and. and no Look, one when talks. it comes no to money, talks. everything changes. You know, personalities okay. dramatically change. I don't know. No. Just yeah. money. All right. So it's a win for... I don't know who it's a win. I guess for yeah, the attorneys. Right. It's a yeah. win for the attorneys that are making family <laughs> offices now have to do this crap. So. The attorneys always win. They always win. <laughs> All right, David. What do you got for us? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I thought this was a win straight away. Oh my God. Oh wow. Indian traffic police get AC air aircon helmets. Oh yep. my God. All right. Oh God. Very nice. I don't know you know how that thing's powered, you know. Yeah. Like solar? Yeah. Does it does it connect to the motorcycle's engine or does it uh No, these guys are standing plugging? on the street directing traffic as far as I know, and they and Yeah, so, I see a cable there. I see a cable. There's a yeah. Right there. So um but you He's so got a battery so, um, in his back. <laughs> yeah. So it's a solar powered. Well, we don't. Well, that would, that would have, they solar. should. They should have had some of those hats that we had on a couple of weeks ago. That would have solved the problem. But yeah, <laughs> AC helmets for traffic. Well, what can I say? Right. Very what nice. can I say? Well, is that a that's a that's a win for Indian traffic police? I would say. I was going to say for the Indian traffic police, they're like in heaven right now. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm sure sure there's a lot of people, a lot of traffic police all over the world would be saying, "Hey, I want one of those." Yeah, I'm sure yeah. a lot of people in general would want an air conditioning hat, especially like right now in Texas where it's like 30 Celsius every day, and yeah. and and worse. So okay. all right. So before we leave, David, you said you have a new thing you want to show everybody a world premiere. Well, it's it's just a uh, the um, a little little 30, 30 second promo of what right. you can find on the Two O F channel. Is it this the one on our?
was pretty cool. All right, right. You, have to, you have to you have to change it now that we're doing all these other live shows. But other than that, I like it. It's I cool. don't He's... know. You know that just what? violates French, you know, pornography laws. <laughs> <you know? laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you you violated know. all the pornography laws in France, David. Well, luckily, yeah. and in Netherlands. luckily you're yeah. in Holland, in in yeah. sunny Holland. Yeah, in uh, sunny yeah. Holland. Yeah, yeah. Lucky. yeah. Well, I, I I could I could I mean I could you know say something nasty like i'm glad i don't live in argentina where they throw me out of a airplane but i'm not going to say that oh so, my uh, god <laughs> what was that say it again he, john doesn't speak no. english we're good okay, anyway no, everybody no, thank no, you for no, watching no, the show great and no, 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 no. John, yeah, no Caprende, I got it. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching the show or listening if you're listening on the mm -hmm. podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, I think next week we have a guest who's a gentleman who's writing a book and he wants 52 CFOs um, to join with him. That's you right. pay him money and you get to get in his book. So we'll take that apart. That'll be fun. Um, <laughs> we have an AI company coming down um, called Hero AI that'll be coming on, I think, sometime in September. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think we have some other guests that are coming on. So we've got some interesting shows coming up for the month of September. Yeah, so that's right. That's right. It should be very that's interesting. Good. So I hope to everybody that. enjoys it. Yeah, it'll be very cool. And for all you people in America, have a wonderful Labor Day weekend and tell your friends yeah. to watch our show because uh, what else are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Cheers. Have a great day. All right. Have fun, Subscribe have and fun. like. Yeah. All right. Let's see.